With Virgin Media, you can build up the entertainment and tear down the price. Switch to Virgin Media today and get super fast broadband and TV for just 49 euro a month for an awesome 12 months. The sale that stacks up. Now on. See virginmedia.ie and check out how our mobile sales stacks up too. T's and C's apply. See virginmedia.ie. 12 month contract. Offer ends 27th of February 2019. Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Jeff Rowe Committee of Pro Wrestling. Presented by the Idiot Radio Network. Offering a weekly look into the world of professional wrestling with guest interviews news, results, and much more. Now here's your host, Steph Vaughn Devlin. Welcome to the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. I am your host, Steph Vaughn Devereaux. <sighs> feels so good to be home. It feels so good to be home. I mean, I've been launching you know, new podcast, new shows for the Angry Kids 24-7 radio network. You know, doing my thing, doing my thing, but, you know, they say home is where the heart is, and uh, professional wrestling is my home. So, welcome to today's show, and uh, we're going to start it off with some sad news. Obviously, there's been some sad news within the world of professional wrestling because you people do have social media, and you do find out these things a lot faster than, you know, we used to 20 years ago, 25 years ago, but, um... The WWE, we as fans, uh, wrestlers all across the world, we've lost a family member, and that family member is me and Gene Oakland. Now, if I didn't have surgery this past week in a sensitive area, I would be doing what Ric Flair would do, where Ric Flair would come out before his big promos with Means in Oakland, and he would say, "Me, Gene." Now I wanted to do it a little bit louder, but I couldn't do it because I'm a bank. But anyway, Mean Gene Oakland, Mean Gene, man. You know, when I seen the news when it came across, you know, the wire, um, and I was saying I was the wire, but uh, when it came across that Mean Gene had passed, a lot of wrestling fans was. Uh, was watching a reaction, you know, reading reactions from across the world, and it made me feel good because, you know, I felt the same way about Mean Gene. He was the best at what he did. Um, he promoted <laughs> these matches. He made me want to see these matches better than anyone else. Uh, WrestleMania, better than anyone else. It was so entertaining. He was just, to me, he felt like uh, a nice guy. I never got a chance to meet Mean Gene, even though he was on our list of people I would love to meet. Um, as a broadcaster, you know, he – I'll say, okay, put it like this. I'm a broadcaster, and I did learn a lot from Mean Gene. I, I learned that you have to make it entertaining, and I knew that at a very young age. He was the Howard Cosell of professional wrestling, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people are going to go after, or are going to come after Mean Gene. I and mean, there was a lot of people that came before Mean Gene, but there was only one Mean Gene Okerlund. You know, um, AWA to the WWE. I thought he was more entertaining in a in a WWE. Obviously, you know, he was there during the birth, or excuse me, during the growth, um, the expansion. You know, he came over as they were taking over the AWA territory. You know, but what I will forever remember about Mean Gene Okerlund as a kid, Mean Gene Okerlund and Hulk Hogan, they were like a tag team. You know, they were a tag team in a match or two. But to me, they were two of my heroes. As a kid. And I'm not trying to get choked up here because I'm damn near ready to cry as I think about me and Gene Okerlund and think about what he means to myself. But I'm trying to think of the positive things. But me and Gene, 
and Hulk Hogan, man, that was a combination. For years, we watched Hulk Hogan and Mean Gene uh, do these promos, some very important promos as well. None more important than the the reveal, the, the night Hulk Hogan was introduced as the third member of the NWO. Me and Gene stood in the middle of that ring as the fans was throwing trash at Hulk Hogan, and he gave his opinion. <laughs> but he still did it in a professional way. Now, a lot of people want to sit back and say what I'm about to do is kind of mean, but it's not mean because this is what the wrestling community does now. They like to talk. They like to bring up things. And they're mad, which is making me mad, wrestling community. It's really making me upset. But we're going to talk about that in the next segment. We're going to finish with this tribute to the late, great, mean Gene Oakland. I just cannot believe I'm saying late. I mean, 76 years old, lived a good life, helped change the world. Can't say he didn't, but he helped change the world. And he deserves his tribute. The WWE will put on a tribute on Monday night. And some of the names that are being talked about, appearing on Raw, Ric Flair, and the big roof of professional wrestling, Hawk Hogan. Fans are upset about this. Oh, man, fans are upset about this. But don't worry. I'm about to get into y'all in a second. I promise. But I just want to take this time to say I'm going to watch Raw tomorrow night. I'm going to watch it live. Will I have some tears in my eyes? More than likely. But I would like to do one thing, though. I would just like to remember Mean Gene Okerlund. I would like to say thank you to Mean Gene Okerlund. Because without a guy like him, I probably wouldn't even be doing what I'm doing right now. Yes, I do sound less energetic. You know, like I said, I've had surgery, but this mean gene, um, this death really hit me hard. And I kind of waited to talk about it on social media. I wanted to come to you first. I wanted to come to the fans who listen to this show. And so if I sound down, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. You can't lose a legend like this and it not affect you somehow, some way. Especially when you're talking about him. I didn't even write out how I was going to start the show. It was just off, you know, I'm doing this freestyle pretty much and just telling you how I feel. All I ask is tomorrow night when you watch Raw, just please put your feelings aside for a few hours. Let the WWE entertain you for three hours. Let us come and join our family because I consider the wrestling universe a family. You got to be a family. You want to stick together this long and stick to watching what we watch this long. So, want to send a moment of sal- give a moment of silence and send my condolences and prayers to the family of me and Gene Oakland. And when, when we come back, we're going to talk about what I'm upset about when it comes to the death of me and Gene Oakland and how some fans are treating it. Here on the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling, Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. Kids 24-7 Radio. Angle Kids 24-7 Radio. 
Kids 24-7 Radio. How to text a guy to keep him interested. Hmm, it's a question many women ask daily. Well, Amy North believes she has found the answer with how to text a guy to keep him interested. It's a new course that she has put together and it's helping ladies all across the world. You can go to how to text a guy to keep him interested dot weebly dot com for more information. Amy says she has the answer. So find out there at how to text a guy to keep him interested dot weebly dot com. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is real. You can recover. It's possible. It happens every day. Never give up on yourself. Discover hope and help. I thought I was too far gone. I wasn't. Join the voices for recovery. The world is a beautiful place again. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental and substance use disorders for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. You're listening to Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. We are back, Stefan Devereaux, the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling. I feel better now. I said what I had to say, I got it off my chest about. The late great Mean Gene Oakland. Now let's get some stuff, some more stuff off my chest here. Now look, here's what we're going to talk about here. So tomorrow night, Monday Night Raw decided to do a tribute show to Mean Gene Oakland, and some of the names, like I said, a past segment that are going to be there: the Nature Boy Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan himself. And now fans are complaining about this. Hey, get a life. Get a freaking life. I want to say another word so bad, but I can't because I'm a professional. But get a freaking life, please. Let me tell you why. You're really complaining about Hulk Hogan coming back and paying tribute to Mean Gene Okerlund. Look, I understand you feel Hulk Hogan is a racist. I get it. I get it. Do I feel Hulk Hogan has some issues with black people? Yeah, he probably do. But do I believe, do I, actually, let me tell you this, I feel he did. I feel he did. But I I honestly believe in my heart, right now, Hulk Hogan is a changed man. Hulk Hogan, you know, I prayed about this. Now I don't want to bring prayer into this, but I prayed about this. And you ask, you know, when you do something wrong, you ask for forgiveness, and it happens. If you are sincere. I believe Hulk Hogan was sincere. Now, some people could disagree with that. You're entitled to your opinion. But my opinion is Hulk Hogan was sincere with his apology. And he still is. The guy's still paying for this. Do you not realize Hulk Hogan was the biggest star in our business? Without a Hulk Hogan, there would be no rock who is now the biggest star in our business. Without Hulk Hogan, there would have been no Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was the biggest star in our business. But you're going to sit here and get mad because he wants to come and pay tribute to a guy who I just talked about and said that these two guys were connected at the hip for years. Some of the Hulk's biggest promos of his career, me and Gene Okerlund was standing next to him holding that microphone. And now you want to complain? Now you want to complain? Man, get a life. Get a life. It's Hulk Hogan, God damn it. If you can't forgive Hulk Hogan, think, God damn, who the hell can, I mean, you as wrestling fans, and I'm talking to black and white. 
Because a lot of these white dudes out here talking like Hulk Hogan, we should be kicking Hulk Hogan in the balls every time we get a chance to because he says some things on tape. Bro, I'm a black man, all right? A black man is, is saying, it's time to forgive Hulk Hogan. You don't have to forget what happened, but it's time to forgive him for something that happened over 10 years ago. Like I said, do I feel Hulk Hogan had problems with black people in the past? You know what? No, I don't think he, in general he had problems with black people as a whole. I think he just had problems with his daughter dating black people. And he came out came out very nasty. I get it. See that. But that happened 10 years ago and a man has asked for forgiveness. He's asked for forgiveness. Now black people say, hey, yo, is he going to be invited to the barbecue? Oh, probably not. But if Hulk Hogan came to me and asked me for forgiveness, personally, personally, I will give it to him. I can't judge someone. I can't judge this man. My beliefs tell me I cannot judge this man. I shouldn't judge anyone. We shouldn't judge anyone. Don't want to sound preachy here, but guess what? For this subject, too bad. We shouldn't be judging this dude anymore. He asks for forgiveness. Our job as people is to forgive. Now, he wants to come and pay tribute to Mean Gene Okerlund, a guy who has helped his career. Let him. This is Hulk Hogan, people. This ain't no jabroni who's never done a damn thing for this business, except for getting a ring and take some bumps. This is Hulk Hogan, people. I can't wait to hear what he says. This is Hulk Hogan, people. This is the greatest draw in professional wrestling history. And he wants to pay tribute to the guy who helped him get there. And you people are upset? Okay. Okay. This might be the most entertaining role in the past two years. If we're getting stars to come back and pay tribute to this man, this may be the most entertaining role in the past two years. This is why I'm trying to tell people to sit back and enjoy this. Mean Jane Oakland was a legend, and they're going to pay tribute to him. And the greatest of all time is going to come and help. And you are complaining? Wow. This is what I mean about you wrestling fans today. See, I must have grown up in a different time, a different era, because I'm just I'm just serious. I'd be mean, like, you people, you wrestling fans today, sicken me. You sicken me. Some of the stuff I see on TV or social media, and you're complaining about Hulk Hogan. Okay. 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 All I'm going to say is, I'm happy Hulk Hogan's going to be there. He deserves to be there. He deserves to be there. He deserves to be in a WWE. The man said sorry. Move on. With all the other stories that come out about other wrestlers that you guys support, they're in the Hall of Fame. Or they're on WWE TV. You got no problem with that. But you met a Hulk Hogan. Let it go. Let it go. 
Show. Up next, we're going to talk about all elite wrestling. Ooh, big news coming out of Jacksonville, Florida. And I'm telling you, man, I'm really impressed. From what I'm hearing so far, I'm really impressed. But there could be some problems down the road. You're listening to the Devereux Committee of Pro Wrestling here on Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. We'll be right back after this break. You're listening to Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. How to text a guy to keep him interested? Hmm, it's a question many women ask daily. Well, Amy North believes she has found the answer with How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. It's a new course that she has put together and it's helping ladies all across the world. You can go to How to Text a Guy to Keep Him Interested. for more information. Amy says she has the answer, so find out there. How to text a guy to keep him interested. Weebly.com. Recovery from mental and substance use disorders is real. You can recover. It's possible. It happens every day. Never give up on yourself. Discover hope and help. I thought I was too far gone. I wasn't. Join the voices for recovery. The world is a beautiful place again. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental and substance use disorders for you or someone you know, Call 1-800-662-HELP. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. You're listening to Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. Stephon Devereaux, the Devereaux Committee of Pro Wrestling, here on Angry Kids 24-7 Radio. All right, let's get into this. All Elite Wrestling, big news coming out of Jacksonville, Florida. Now, they already got the uh, administration set up, you know, Cody Rhodes, his wife Brandy, and so forth. All right, you know, they got the, the money backing them up. The Khan family, the owners of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now they're trying to get the superstars to walk on over. Now, I, look, I told you before. I told you before. The number one guy I'm trying to get here to All Elite, number one guy is CM Punk. And he said he was interested. Now, I told you that before we, you know, started to break this news about All Elite Wrestling. I told you that. I told you Punk was going to be interested, and the next thing you know, Punk was interested. I can't tell you where I get my, you know, my stories and you know, my sources and so forth, but trust me, my sources be right. Now, Bill Goldberg, a lot of people are upset about that name. They're not happy about hearing Bill Goldberg's name. <laughs> now, look, Bill Goldberg would be perfect for this organization if you just need a little star power, which they will need. Um, expect Bill Goldberg to be calling in their wrestling, but I can see him playing a Kurt Angle type role with all elite wrestling commissioner, general manager, or whatever. He can play one of those type of roles, and they'll have him wrestle every now and then. He's not a, an every, a every week wrestler. He's not one of those. He's a every three to four three to four months, maybe every six months uh, type of wrestler. I think that's a good move. A lot of people are saying, oh, I don't like it. Well, too bad. I like it. Um, Chris Jericho was another name that I brought up before. And from what I'm understanding, Chris Jericho is really interested in joining all elite wrestling, you know, at least taking a look at these guys and seeing what they're going to have to offer to offer him because it always comes down to money. You know that love that word man. It's always going to come down to money. Uh, now here's two names. First name I've already said that I could see him going because he didn't sign his contract, but I'm starting to hear that his contract he, he has the first name written down on a contract, and that's AJ Styles. So AJ Styles could be staying with the WWE, even though I think that AJ Styles going to All Elite Wrestling, um, I think it would make a difference, but to be honest with you, not really. 
Because AJ Styles, he does, okay, let me, let me clarify this. Before people start getting on my back, oh, AJ Styles, you AJ Styles, man, it different. Okay, look, listen, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, AJ Styles is 40, you know, don't get me wrong. I think AJ Styles would, you know, he would do some damage there in All Elite. But for where his career is at right now, I think he should just be headed towards the WWE Hall of Fame. I'm just worried about that right now. Making the WWE money and just headed towards the Hall of Fame because as of right now, AJ Styles is headed towards the WWE Hall of Fame. The guy that I will go after is Samoa Joe. I would definitely go after Samoa Joe um, over AJ Styles right now because Samoa Joe is being underused. Uh, I don't know who's... I don't know what their idea with Samoa Joe is for the next uh, six months to a year, but if I was Samoa Joe, I would go and ask and see if there's some way I can get out of my contract and try to get in touch with Cody and the boys and see what he can do. Because I'm being serious. I mean, they're not using Samoa Joe right. And if you put Samoa Joe in that atmosphere with wrestlers such as uh, Cody and the Young Bucks, and so he's there and he's going to be having fun and he's going to put on great matches. Now, now, this one could be a blow. This one could be a blow because there are rumors. Rumors. I love rumors. Because you never know if rumors are true or not. But you can speculate and you can, you know, do this little thing called fantasy booking, especially when it comes to professional wrestling. But there's rumors that uh, Kenny Omega is close to signing with the WWE. Now, that could be a heartbreaker to the internet wrestling community. But to me, I don't, really don't think it's going to make a difference as of yet. Because, look, New Japan Pro Wrestling is here in the United States, but not everyone gets access TV. Okay? You can watch Kenny Omega on certain shows and so forth, but let's be real. It, he's really not on that main stage. Cody Rose was on that main stage. The Young Bucks was on that main stage for, I mean, so to speak, because um, they pretty much created that stage for themselves. Um, Bill Goldberg, Chris Jericho, the guys that we're talking about, CM Punk, these guys have been on the main stage. The world, the universe knows who these guys are. Only the world, if you want to look at it from those terms, the world only knows who Kenny Omega is. Only the world, not the universe, the world. He goes to the WWE universe, he will be known. They'll see his face. Just go there for a year or two, two years. I think there's, you know, go two years. Let all elite wrestling develop into what it's going to develop into, and then you can make your jump. I mean, I'm just saying. Just saying. Go and understand that WWE entertainment style, which I believe it should be called, the entertainment style. You learned the wrestling. Now go and learn the entertainment. Then go to all elite wrestling. Just saying. Now, I'll probably get destroyed by some wrestling fans over that statement, but... I'm just looking out for the best interest of this man, Kenny Omega. But if Kenny Omega does sign with the WWE, I, I, I don't really think it's going to make a difference with all elite wrestling and how it's going to um, uh, debut and so forth, the presentation. I think they just need two people, and that's CM Punk, and you get someone else like Chris Jericho to come over with them. AJ Styles, I said maybe not, but you get a, a CM Punk and a Chris Jericho, this thing's money things money. Along with the talent they already have and the people that they're going to bring in, this thing's money. This thing can actually compete. And from what I understand, the McMahon family is looking hard at this project. And if they're already looking at this thing, they're looking at it because they know a billionaire is backing it. If, if it was just some, some local Jay, you know, local guy who was just, you know, got, some, got a couple of dollars and he's doing shows and so forth, then they wouldn't even pay attention to it. But since a billionaire is backing this, they have to. And the WWE, now they're going to start attacking and start going and offering these contracts to these wrestlers like they did Cody and the Young Bucks. And they're going to try to get them to sign ASAP. That's not going to happen. But Kenny Omega, I can see that happening. I can really see that happening right now because, like I said, his career needs it. AJ Styles, stay in the WWE. Get yourself to the Hall of Fame. And then, uh, you know, you did everything else. Coming to start a new company again, like you did with TNA, do you really want to get involved with that mess? Bill Goldberg, I'll take you. Chris Jericho, I'll take you. But the number one guy, the number one guy I'm after right now, besides Samoa Joe, CM Punk. All right, that was it.
Deborah Comedia Pro Wrestling here on Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. I want to thank you for joining us. And we are out. You're listening to Angry Kids 24 7 Radio. Kids 24-7 Radio. How to text a guy to keep him interested. Hmm, it's a question many women ask daily. Well, Amy North believes she has found the answer with how to text a guy to keep him interested. It's a new course that she has put together, and it's helping ladies all across the world. You can go to how to text a guy to keep him interested dot weebly dot com for more information. Amy says she has the answer, so find out there. A how to text a guy to keep him interested dot